Hello, powerful one. Welcome to yet another edition of Inner Growth with Osezo and Enemihe. Today, we are taking the liberty to discuss energy relations. I am still your host, Osezo Anthony Enemihe, and I am in the game of helping you grow from inside out. That's the drill. Everything that has life is energy. All right, and these energies are packaged into a form that is also energy, but on the lower vibrational frequency, which is this body. This body is also energy. Everything is energy. They vibrate at frequencies. Okay. Now, when we talk about frequency, maybe you can look at the the sense of levels, you know, gradations. Now, it is the frequency that your energy functions at that you manifest at. Manifesting simply means that you are connecting to other energy forms that are the same wavelength with you and you are pulling them into your world. That's just simply what it is. So how do we as energy forms relate in this physical universe? There is something called the sensory perception. You can see two things there, sense and then perception. Two ways we relate. Your senses are in forms of sight, hearing, smelling, taste, and of course, touch, which is the largest organ in the body, the skin. Right. Now, we use all of these things to relate in our environment. Now, it is what we think our environment is, or element, or agent of our environment are, that they really turn out to be. And how do we judge these things? How do we define the agents, elements in our environment? It's simply by our mental blueprint. You can call it the interpreters. Okay? So, mind does not see things as they are. Mind interprets things as it is perceived to be based on the blueprint, the data, or the programs that are loaded in mind that is how it works this is why we keep saying that if you intend to have a life experience that is other than the one you are having right now you have to elevate your vibration hence people say that happiness is a necessary precursor a necessary prerequisite for success for attaining anything you want to do do you know why when you are happy you are operating at a higher vibrational frequency than you were before. And then when you elevate yourself beyond that frequency, you begin to attract things in that frequency as long as you can stay there. But this is the challenge we have. When we elevate, we stay there for a few minutes or even if a day or two, we come back down to the default frequency. And then the things that we are attracting freeze on the way because we are no longer there to pull them. So we come back to the default frequency where the things we do not want in our lives are perpetually present. So I will begin to complain. Now, what are the things that can make us not to be at a higher vibrational frequency? One, the, the way you relate with the things you see. All right? For instance, a lot of us use our eyes to see things. If you were browsing the internet, Let's assume you were on a higher vibrational frequency. Let's say you were at 450. You are bubbling. You're happy. You're singing. You are just feeling good. And then you came across an image of something that you would have so loved to have. And then you stop at it. Oh, this is so beautiful. How I love it. Then there is a kick from the inside, a pull from the inside, trying to remind you. That these things you're trying to get, remember that you, you, are, you actually are not able to get it. Remember your situation right now. Remember how things are with you. And then that is a lower frequency tug. You are up there and the tugging is coming to you and you listen to it. When you give attention to that frequency, not at the level of distancing yourself from them. I've taught you how to create a distance between you and them. Instead of looking at that emotion and just focusing your attention on it in a neutral manner, you begin to say, you're right. Or you may not say you are right, you may just say, oh, how silly, come on, shut up there. 
whichever one it is, whether you love it or whether you hate it or as long as you have sent a message, you have sent your emotion to it and it's there. Now, some people browse content on the internet and there are certain people who have a lower vibrational frequency than even they. Let's assume your normal frequency is 300, a very bad frequency anyway. Alcohol can almost take you there. You are that frequency just functioning there. And then you have somebody who is at the level of sober party. And you see people are in and the level of sober party that people you see them on the internet stripping themselves naked, doing some erotic motions. So because these are frequencies that are below optimum. They are quite low. When you connect with them, sometimes we are tricked to look at them on the basis of their curves, of their or their beauty, or their six packs for the, for the women. And for those that are men, their curves, their physical polish will pull us into them because we have not seen their character, we've not really seen their their vibrations. If we were in their midst, in their environment, we'll be able to see some, some, some people are capable of knowing somebody's vibration just by their odor. They can see, but when they are on the internet, on the phone, on the on the TV, you can't see it. You just see the curves and everything. You are carried away by that sight and you love it. But this is it. It's energy. Energy is vibrating. It's sending out emissions. And then you have the capacity to catch it because you are a receptor. You have an energy receptor in you. Therefore, you catch their vibration. They become a packet of energy loaded into you. And when they come into you, what do they do? They are going to the level that they belong, which is low. But don't forget, you are needing them. You are desiring them. Your focus is on them. So those energy forms take the image of the person. The curves, the red dress, or the yellow dress, or the green dress, or the blue dress, whichever color of clothes the person is wearing, goes inside of you. You shut your eyes, you see this person. You're sleeping, you are, you are visualizing this, this person because it's not as if you are thinking about the person. The person has become a thought in you because it drags and pulls some form of emotion, of desire, of liking, of wanting to be one with it into you. And then it is structured in there. Over time, you are pulled down to the level of that person. You get to that level, you don't understand why you are feeling morose. You just wake up, you find out that you are unhappy. You find out that you are sad. You find out that you are depressed. You have not had a solid relationship with that energy. You have a relationship of dependency, of desire. You are trying to equal yourself with that energy because you desire it. That's what it is. It pulls you down. The second one is that you could uh, be in a space with somebody, you could read a line, a post on social media, you felt very bad. The post the person has made is of a lower frequency. And by being angry, by dwelling on it, you have equated yourself, you have identified with that post, you become one with that post, it pulls you down. There are many ways you can actually pull negative energies into your life. So many ways. Touch, for instance. Contact. Just touching another person that has an intention, okay, can actually pull it. This is why we discourage you just going and hugging everybody you see or fighting people. Because when you fight, when you engage in fisticuff with somebody, you are at the level, at the frequency of that person at that time, and you may be there for a very long time. Some people quarrel. Quarrel is, another, quarrel is another way to be pulled down to the energy of the person, the, the aggravating entity. You need to avoid all of these things. Some people are agents of lower energy field. They are game. The game that they are made to play, they are ignorant of these things anyway. The game they are made to play is to recruit people and pull them into that energy level. So you will see them very insulting. You see them very, very nasty. If they are bosses in an office, oh goodness, you find them very insufferable. They just use every opportunity to make you feel bad. All you need to do when you are in such an environment is to ask yourself a question. Who are you? How do you really want to feel? Okay, now, what am I likely to feel? If I respond this way to this particular energy. But unfortunately, 
most of the times our responses to these energies are automatic they are just instinctive because we have lower depth of personality we are dependent on other energy forms this is where the problem comes if you are if a relationship with other energy forms is that of dependency you can be carried away by anything by anything anybody does if somebody is playing come fight with me you will fall in somebody say come sleep with me you will fall in come laugh with me you will fall in you know there are people who if you go to the dance floor for instance the only way they can dance very well is to shut their eyes if their eyes are open when they see people doing different dance steps, you see them moving trying to do those dance steps themselves they are not thinking of it. it's not a conscious thing so you see them on the dance floor that they cannot dance you think they don't know how to dance they are scattered all over the place. it's like they are being pulled like a marionette all over the place because everybody they are looking at they are picking their dance moves it is a very dependency level of energy relationship you need to elevate your relationship to that of independence so that you will be a powerhouse on your own and whatever people say whatever people do and even whatever people think will not affect you sometimes you go into an environment because this is it spaces that you occupy remember that houses spaces they have life that's why they are subsisting they have life the only difference is that the energy level is very very dense the frequency is extremely low that's why it is you know concrete the way you see it now they have memories a room an entire building a hall they have memories so when you walk into a space where evil things have been done when i mean evil please note me it means something that is low in frequency something that has very very low love content in it it is something that is aberrating and it is aberrational when you enter that space you will feel the emotion of that place when you meet people set your energy relationship intention when you get to a place as you are stepping into that place set your intention so you post step into it and say peace be unto this house christ said it and so you get into any house bless the house Send peace to them. What is that saying? I am an agent of peace. I accept only peaceful entities. That's what you are saying. Don't try to be like everybody. The next thing is, at the beginning of your day, set your intention for that day. By sitting quiet, locking off all forms of thought and just be blank. Stay there for a while. When you have gathered enough momentum, enough steam, then begin to make pronouncements for your day. That is affirmation. And there is nothing that beats gratitude, you know, journal. When you do gratitude in the morning and you step out, you've set your tone for that day and roll on it. Don't forget yourself. You will need to become powerful because you are powerful. You have to attain it. Like I said, I can't finish this discussion on this video. I will continue it in the next video. For now, it's what I've always said to you. You are extremely powerful. Whatever has ever happened to you in your life till now, you caused them. You invited them because of the level of power you have. Nothing happened to you by accident. Nothing happened to you by force. If you didn't accept them, they wouldn't have come. Use your strength and your power effectively. Stay blessed.